Hey everybody, it's Jim McGuinn from Teenage Kicks at The Current, and this week we're talking about the Beastie Boys. November 1986, they released their debut full-length album, Licensed to Ill. It became the first rap or hip-hop album to reach number one. It went multi-platinum. Suddenly, they became one of the most popular bands in the country and the world. They were out on tour opening for Madonna. They were doing all kinds of wacky hijinks, some of which I think they later kind of regretted and the lyrics on this album are somewhat I believe a poke at sort of the frat culture mentality but the problem was that a lot of people took it literally so on later records you saw the band move away from the wanton bragging and the sort of homophobic and misogynist uh, nature of some of the words on the first record and they moved in a very different direction uh, and became, I think, a little more enlightened later on in their career, and they made that transition. They were at one point thought to be kind of a novelty because of the success of this album that they could never replicate, which had some sense in maybe how Paul's Boutique took a while before it took off and was later recognized as a genius second album. And they later, of course, had a huge career and became one of the most influential hip-hop artists of all time. But it all started with License to Ill. It's a fun record. It still is really fun if you can get past some of those lyrical blemishes. And uh, it's filled with great songs, co-produced by Rick Rubin, who really melded rock and punk and hip-hop together with these three kids from New York. They were the Beastie Boys, and we're paying tribute to them this week on Teenage Kicks. All right, if we're going to play a song from the first Beastie Boys album, it has to be this one. It's the ultimate ridiculous teen anthem, and it's just fun to play on a ukulele. up late for school, man, you don't want to go. You ask your mom please, but she still says no. You miss two classes and no homework. But your teacher preaches class like he's some kind of jerk. Well, you gotta fight for your right to party. You gotta fight for your right to party. Beastie Boys, Teenage Kicks. That's right, we're all fighting for our rights, sometimes, to party. <laughs>